My name is Frank de Winne. I'm an astronaut from the European Space Agency and currently I'm here the head of the European Astronaut Center in Cologne. I became an astronaut because I always wanted to combine operational work and scientific engineering work. It's something that I have done my entire career. I always was longing for this to fly, but also to do engineering, to do science, to do new discoveries. And uh, this was for me an ideal combination to be an astronaut, to fly, but still work with the scientists and bring something to humanity. Space exploration is very important because it gives us a perspective to the future. We have seen from the past in history that countries, societies that stopped exploring stopped progressing. So if we want to continue to progress in Europe with our European countries, in the world as well with, Europe, uh, with the world societies, we need to explore, we need to go beyond the boundaries of what we know today. And one of those boundaries of course is space. So we need to go beyond of where we have gone today. We have to go beyond low Earth orbit where we are flying today. We need to go back to the moon. We need to go to Mars. We need to expand our horizons. And every time that we have done this as humankind, we have seen that it has brought enormous benefits uh, to us as a society. So that is why space exploration is important. Education is one of the most important aspects that you need to have if you want to work in the space industry. It's clear that we are working on the high end of technology, that we work on the high end of science. Uh, we are very professional people in our entire organization. So uh, education is really one of the main aspects uh, that is linked to space. That's also why our European Space Agency, by the way, uh, gives an amount of money. About 1% of all the programs that we are doing is spent into education. Education from the young people on to make them uh, enthusiastic about science, technology, engineering and math because this is of course the basis but then later on indeed they need to have an undergraduate or a graduate or a master's degree in space engineering. These are the people that we need uh, to bring space forward in Europe. I think our universities today have very good programs to educate and to train the space engineers of the future. But it's not only up to the universities. Of course, when they deliver, uh, a lot of good people, young trainees, uh, people that are qualified, that have done very high-end studies in the space uh, arena, then of course we also need to be able to offer those people a job. And also those people during their studies, they need to be able to get hands-on practice, to get experience how it is to work in the space industry. So therefore also there is also a role for the industries today in the education of the new space engineers. And there is where I like the SEEDS program very much because it brings the industries and the universities together in an educational program. I think what universities could still bring more forward to their courses of space and space engineers is the multidisciplinary aspect of space. I know that this has started uh, very much in some universities and especially the SEEDS program I think is working very hard to accomplish this, uh, but I think there can still be a bigger effort to be done because space, spacecraft, space systems, uh, they can only work if they work all together in a multidisciplinary approach. Uh, and this is what specifically we need to teach our young people that by themselves being very good in one single niche market is maybe not good enough to be a space engineer. You need to know a lot about the other disciplines around you. First of all, you need to choose something that you like. If you're 16 years old and you want to build a future life, a future career, if you want to be good, if you want to be happy, you need to make a choice what you like. So what would you like to do in the space industry? Do you want to like to become a thermal engineer, an electrical engineer? Do you want to go into space law? Do you want to go into communications? All these areas are important and you need to make your own choice. Then once you have made your choice and you know exactly what you want, then of course you need to look for the right university, the right education. And you also need to be willing to travel outside your own atmosphere, your own ream of uh, knowledge that you have. If you're linked to a small country, for example, most likely you will need to travel to other places, uh, go study abroad uh, to widen your horizon because Again, space is about widening our horizon and also in space industries we need to have engineers who have a broad knowledge of what is available in Europe. So that would be a second advice. Don't link yourself to one university somewhere where you live close by, but open yourself to the entire Europe.
What I'm looking most forward to is, of course, one of our goals in space exploration for this century. It's to have a woman or a man on Mars. We had a man on the moon. Why not a first woman on Mars? This will be the ultimate goal for this century. Will I still see it in my lifetime? I don't know, because there are a lot of challenges that today uh, we still have to overcome. But there are a number of steps that we can take on the way. And the first step, of course, would be to bring the spacefaring nations from around the globe together and to go back to the moon. Not as a race this time, but together in a cooperative program to see what we can learn on moon exploration and explore the moon again as a society, a world society as a whole. And of course, Europe needs to play a role in, in that. We need to bring our European values towards this space exploration. And if one of my younger astronauts could be walking on the moon and I could still see it, I would be very happy.